Hey guys, the Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to Monster Sanctuary. Now it occurred to me while I was doing some uh, some light grinding down in the blue caves, uh, getting our teams up to level ten or eleven or so, that I actually had a pretty good magically inclined team uh, as as my active party between Flubber Whisper and, and Kabuki. Um, each has got some talents in the uh, next tier down now, if only a few. Um, They've definitely gotten stronger. Um, uh, our, our, our usual team is down here, of course. They're, they're, they're all level 11 as well. Uh, everyone's reached level 10 at least. But it occurred to me that we had a pretty magically inclined party, and I kind of wanted to come back and give another crack at the Spectre and the Minitor. Not Minotaur, Minitor, which I thought was kind of cute. Um, the Spectre especially, though, because it is, of course, magically um, vulnerable. And we finally have all the power we need to give that a roll. So, going to use Acid Rain to start off with. Try and ooh, there's nice there actually. We have a, a, a double mana proc on our on 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 uh, Flubber now, which is very nice. Um, our uh, our Whisper has um, a lot of shielding power now, which is quite nice too, um, and can double chill people, which I'm kind of excited to test that honestly. Granted, uh, it still does not have the ability to um, get like. More than one chill stack at a time, but it's it's a start. Right, poison bomb. Get that poison stack on there. Flame strike, which will wiggle that pretty easily. Special wave. That's the yeah, that's the one that hits everybody. Ooh, that does quite a bit of damage. Okay, I am going to actually use shield. It's kind of a waste though, isn't it? But see, um, whenever whenever our, our our party is is protected by a shield, uh, they do they, they do more damage because of a talent that Whisper has. So it's not an entire waste to just use shield for a turn, which is good. Already poisoned. I, ca I can't multi poison someone, so I guess I'll go with another Acid Rain. I can't multi armor break somebody either, but it does more damage at the moment. All right, out come the fireballs. Man, those are a lot of damage. It also has um, a talent now that lets him uh, do an, an extra hit of damage when falling up. Oh my goodness, does so much damage. Like, this thing, like, I, I swear, it, it must scale to your party to some degree. Because, cranky, it's hard. I don't think there's any way we're gonna be able to burn this thing down in one turn. Well, that's why, it's rank 3 acid rain. Duh, that's why it does more damage. I'm like, why, why, why is this thing? Oh yeah. I don't think there's any way we can just burn this thing down in one turn, unfortunately. I was really hoping we could just kind of muscle through it. Oh, does this actually do more damage? I guess it is based off of... Oh, wow. It's actually a lot stronger. Jeez. Like, 35% more... Wow. Okay. Well, that then. Yeah, see, like, we, we can kind of close, but... If I could just score a crit with uh, Kabuki, I might even do it. Definitely, definitely not getting a definitely not getting a five star on this one. Well, how much we can heal though? It's a nice heal. Jeez, that's what we want. Like that's a three star. Yeah, definitely not our best. Okay, well, hmm. Like, there's, there's gotta be a better way to do this. Like, there's there's gotta be some some way into this guy. Like, he's so powerful, but then yeah, he's level eleven, isn't he? That makes sense. I guess uh, yeah, because these guys all scale, don't they? Mini Tor was 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 what? He was weak to uh, fire, as I recall correctly. Let me try to, I guess. Yeah, does earth damage, which is fine by us, so that's okay. He resists poison himself. I mean, it's, it's usually worth putting some poison on him anyway, just so the damage the poison does. Throw out the chilling wind, because of course, uh, getting the chill debuff on him means that he, you know, he'll uh, deal, or sorry, he'll get less of his mana back, which is always nice. And then just a big old whopping fire hit. Like, between, 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 between the fire hit and then the follow-up hit, he does over like 900 damage, it's kind of insane. Shield away. Alright. 
Okay, let's take a turn to, to apply the poison. And a shield. Keeps our health rating up too, honestly. It's kind of worth doing. Another big whopping fireball. So much damage, goodness me. I guess I'm, I, I, I suppose um, in, in, in an ideal world, I would be using uh, um, Prometheus for, because he, he can apply shield just by hitting stuff um, with his talents. So I guess I could, I, could, I could retool the party and come at it that way too. Popular around here, aren't we? Alright. Another stack of chill. It's even more mana that he's not getting back every turn, which is kind of nice, actually. Not enough, though, because, I mean, as, as a champion, he re re regenerates a good chunk of mana. Oh, wow. That's a lot of damage he just did there. That, well, that definitely tanks our ability to. But we're definitely not five starring that. Wow. Got our third stack of chill on there. He's only getting back 65 man at a time. It's not really slowing him down all that bad though, I gotta say. You'd think someone with, you know, almost no mana left would, uh... Not be quite so scary, and yet. Oof. Not good. Alright, well, um. Hmm. Mm -hmm -hmm. Let me, let me, let me try something else, you guys. Give me, give, give me a moment to, to toss together uh, uh, a new configuration here. All right, new team uh, attempt for, for, for the Minotaur. All fire. We got our Kabuki. We've got our, our Prometheus. We've got Caesar. Um, Kabuki's still, of course, our our big um, follow up attack. So, gonna use Prometheus primarily to burn and to just pepper this thing with damage because whenever Prometheus does damage, the whole team gets shield, which is nice to have. I uh, also have level 3 Fire Claws on uh, Caesar, but he can't use it too much because it'll, it just absolutely eats his mana. So, gotta be careful of that. Once in a while, you know, and if we get some crits in there, nice. Uh, that would be good too. Or, you know, three or two, two crits is nice. Sure, absolutely. I'll take it. Ooh, double crit off of that too. That is a much, much nicer first turn. Shielding is a bit, a bit less good though. Um, 200% damage. That's one. one. That's a 200% damage versus 200% damage. So same damage. I guess Arcane Bolt is the smart thing to do. Then although it does less. I mean, it's not super effective. So I guess the damage is about the same, really. Just trying to keep that shield up. It's not a big shield, but hey, if it takes the edge off of the guy's attacks, then I'm all for it. Probably have put the, the 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 sustain buff on the party beforehand because it gets a uh, barrier. We take less damage, but I wanted to try the, the more offense approach first. Caesar has a, about a 50% crit chance at this point too, so that's nice. There we go. Three turns flat. That's better. There we go. Minotaur egg. Our uh, third champion, we can bring it in, bring into the fold now. I gotta throw one with all these eggs. Seriously, half of them are just sitting around doing nothing. Let's check them out, though. Minotaur uh, uh, acquired. Give him the spotlight. I want to call you though. Oh, um, Minotaur, Minotaur, Minotaur. Oh, uh, I call him Beefoot. 
it's a, it's a reference. It's a Dark Souls reference uh, to, to the to the to, to our. Uh, geez, it was a long time ago. Now we did it. We did a, a, a Dark Souls one on stream, and we named the Taurus Demon Beefoot as a as a joke. Uh, again, if you guys have any 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 strong clues about names for these guys, you can let me know in the comments. I'll I'll uh, take them under advisement. But Beefoot will work for the for the for the, for the moment. Rather than sitting there for ten minutes figuring, figuring out a name. Level nine. See, everyone's level ten. Everyone's at least level 10, yet level 9. Really? Come on, game. It's just easy to be Ooh, it, it learns ice. I didn't know it learned ice punch. Or freezing punch, whatever, but... It's it's actually an earth... Water monster, it seems. Huh. Uh, overwhelming, wow. Massive, absolutely massive attack stat. Good health. Kind of low on defense and mana and no magic to speak of. But it's, uh... Sheer brawniness is pretty impressive. Got some crit boosts in there. Slash is that nice move we have on uh, on um, Punk and Boots, but he, this, 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 this guy doesn't have the precision talent that Punk does. Because because uh, with Punk, uh, they, you know, they they have uh, two different so the, the, the cat zerker I should, I should say the species name um, for for the cat zerkers they've got this this talent called precision which gives the first hit of any move uh, uh, a twenty percent chance uh, sorry, uh, uh, an increased crit chance uh, by by uh, mouth English words increases the crit chance of the first hit of a move by twenty percent and has that twice so it's forty percent uh, which goes real well with slash because it it applies bleed on a crit but. Stone Rain, Stone Rain, Protector, whole team takes less damage, I like that. Earth Affinity, so Earth does more damage, I like that too. Probably has a neutral uh, one right here somewhere, maybe. Gets the barrier, gets sustain, so it has the same buff as uh, Prometheus does. Healing and uh, defense. Gets the full offense buff, heroism. Sustain, full offense. Uh, it has hero uh, heroism, for so each, uh, each buff on the monster gets a 2% more attack. Her defense is the same thing for defense, or, or, or sorry, for t -t 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 doing more and taking less damage, not specifically attack and defense, I should specify. Hunt increases the crit chance of the whole party by 3%. Improved Assault. Every monster in the party deals 3% increased damage for each Might, Sorcery, and Glory buff on them. Uh -huh. So it's, a, it's a, an extra layer of heroism, basically, but only for those three three particular buffs. Can he can, can can multi-stack? Any of these? No, but I imagine he'd party well with 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 with, with other monsters that do, because because some monsters let you have more than one instance of the same buff on them. So he would let you. Actually, what's this over here? This is a d double sword icon. What is this? This monster gains the might buff. Another random monster also gets the might buff. Oh, okay, so that's cool, but not quite what I had in mind. Heavy punch. Right. It's, it's not punch combo. It's just heavy punch. Neutral. Oh, it's neutral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Why am I surprised? Duh. Railway Punch is neutral too. I, I have no idea. My, my my brain just leaked out of my ear there. Just like, yeah, of course it is. Duh. Brawler, when exploding enemies weakness with an attack, gain the might buff. Oh. 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 He just gains might all day long then. So that goes well with improved assault then. Because, I mean, at, at the very least, you know, he gains might pretty easily. He's, you know, he's got water and earth. That's too. Pretty good uh, talents. I mean, it won't work all the time, but still, pretty pretty reliable access to just here have free might, here have free might, here have free might, and with shared might, that means the rest of the party gets that in like two turns. They all they all have might, which is pretty decent. I mean, aside from that though, I'm not exactly oh, okay. That's not true. He's got three three levels of crit. What well, no, else? Crit chance, crit damage, crit damage, crit damage. He's got a lot of crit damage talents, which is nice too. Uh, recuperate crits cause him to regenerate mana. Shocking hit. So it does. Uh, if a single hit heal deals more than twenty five percent of the enemy's uh, HP, ten percent versus champions. The enemy is afflicted with shock and a stack of blind. Uh, when having a shocked monster, deal an additional forty percent damage. I have got to get my hands on something with shock. Apparently. Oh my god, that's really good. Uh, that's that's that's. And that, wait, so that's, that, does that stack with armor break? Because, oh my goodness, that's a lot more. It's uh, <laughs> a lot more damage. Uh, and of course, they, and blind makes them, makes them, uh, tend to miss you, but they, oh, but, but each, uh, miss hit removes the stack. Okay. So, so it's, it's not a permanent problem, but still, that's nice too. Crit defense, reduce, reduces damage taken by 10% of own critical damage value. Ooh. That's quite nice too. 
Weaponry. Increases attack, magic, crit chance, and crit damage from equipment by 10% for allied warrior monsters. Oh. Oh, that's quite nice. So yeah, this guy's like he's he's not as overwhelmingly powerful individually as I would have thought, but he's got some nice team play going on. Like he, he makes the whole team take less damage. He makes the whole team get better like like offensive stats from their gear as long as they're warriors. He's got um, the health proc for a little extra there. He, he's good at like buffing his team, getting 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 crits uh, for his team with hunt. Uh, you can buff people up with with barrier and regeneration to make them take less damage and heal passively. But he, he's actually a pretty good, just general party support creature. But also hits really stunk and hard with like you know physical moves. So he's got that nice flexibility, you know, between just party support and you know feeding someone their own teeth. Um, how many attack pluses does he have anyway? Attack plus one, two, three, four, four different attack plus things. This tank is already super high. That's bananas to me. <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, that's impressive. Considering how supporty he is, I feel like I'm going to have to go for the, for the buff tree as well here, which is fine. Between the two, the, 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 the heroism things he's got here, that's fine. Um, he doesn't have heroic party though, does he? But I know a few people that do, so that's okay. This heroic party would really, really benefit like this this guy's team. Barrier, sustain, stone rain, stone rain two. I'm, I'm a little less excited about slash on him, honestly. Like, I mean, I guess if you if you, if you got him uh, set up for crits, it wouldn't be so bad. But you mainly take this tree for the other things in it than you know the actual attack itself. Do I want Heavy Punch or not? I don't know. Um, heavy Punch level 5 is a single 510% damage. Oh my goodness gracious me. Nothing else hits that hard in his entire kit. 510 for a single hit. I mean, I guess if you just really need to hit something really hard, I guess that works. Um... Granted, he's got the 10% boost on, on Earth damage over here, so... 6... 75% hits. Still, that's a big honking hit, my goodness. Um... And I guess that there's no other practical benefit, really, to it. I mean, if he crits with it, that's a horrifying idea. But... Like, I don't know of any other real tangible benefits only hitting one time, you know? Because it doesn't help with a combo at all. Great for a combo finisher, though. So maybe, maybe. Is it cheaper to use too? It is cheaper than most other attacks at that, at that, at that, at that level. And it's great for shocking hit too. That's a fair point. I, I, I yeah. To apply shock and, and blind. All right. Well, I'll. I, I guess we can try it. We can. We can. We can try and bring it along. And there's a lot of coins to have to spend, especially if we get down here into this stuff. Oh, he gets. He gets, he gets protector twice. I didn't even notice. He gets Protector twice? Dude! That's 15% damage shaved off of anything your party ever takes. Or 7.5 twice. I'm not sure if it stacks exactly, but still. Like, like it, it could be like 7.5% uh, off and then 7.5% you know, off the next amount, which would be a little bit less than 15 flat, I think. But still, it's pretty good. That's impressive, actually. Wow, okay. So yeah, he's definitely, definitely a, a great party support critter. That's, that's impressive. So that is your Minotaur spotlight right there. I really want to uh, uh, figure out some kind of a team to take on this, this, this Spectre thing too. Because I'm, I'm real curious to see how a character that is only weak to magic plays. Because that's kind of cool. Which reminds me, wasn't there that that like eye cat thing too? Yeah, up up in the up in the up in the up, 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 green area, upper left. No, it was upper. No, sorry, it was upper right. But on that, I, th I think it's like right there, off that like vertical green one right in the middle. I think that's where it was. 
So check them out next time around. Um, I can use the smoke bomb to, 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 to scout them to see what they're weak to. And we'll give that a try next time. So thank you for tuning in to the, uh, I guess, mini tour uh, skill tree spotlight, I guess we'll call it. Because that's mostly what I did this episode. Uh, <laughs> and I'll see you next time for our cat eye, whatever they are, uh, 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 episode. So see you soon. Uh, uh, please take care of yourselves because you're worth it. And for now, I'm Monster Mad out. Bye-bye. <laughs>